Screenias 11.2 U3, March 28th, 2018, became available. I went ahead and updated my system uh, on, I think, the day after it came out uh, is when I had time to do it. And this is a system we're using. I've got uh, VMs not running on it, but it's VMs running using this as the storage device via NFS. Um, the install went fine. None of those problems that were experienced with the uh, previous update where there were some jails that didn't start, and I covered that in the last video. Uh, so no real issues. This went really, really smooth. Matter of fact, better than smooth. And I say that because... If we look here at my free NAS box, I've got menus, and I didn't have these before. These were kind of random. Uh, I never did figure this out, and this is a mystery to me, and the mystery is gone. It's not a bug fix. It's just something that they did in the updates uh, apparently fixed this. So my system is running. It's healthy. I had no problems uh, with the pool. Like I said, no problems with the jail. But this seems, based on the list, and we'll scroll up and down here, there is a ton of small, minor bug fixes, like a lot of bug fixes so this is a pretty cool that they uh just it's it's an update that more about quashing bugs than it is about adding features because we know adding features sometimes introduces new issues this was more about quashing those bugs so let's jump around and look at some of the features that they added uh mention correction zdb path whoop, too far down i started here uh add support for mvme uh, device replacements a feature uh, and all these are move stream, move stream, move stream. Sounds like they're streamlining how they put together the text file. Uh, we can click on these. I'm assuming it's just moving where some of it's stored. And I'm not going to read through every single one of these, but you can read some of the details. C ticket uh, to solve issues with excess spaces, have column places for tooltips. Lots of minor changes, but they're important ones uh, because it, we want a GUI that is uh, not full of extra dead space. <laughs> that's it. That's Technically, how UI flows is really important, and they did clean up the UI, and also the jails got a cool spiffy new icon. Uh, so that was definitely that's a novel that has done that. Um, they also added a few things like an auto start and stop column to a slider for the virtual machine, so you can just tell them to auto turn on. Um, for me, because I have a pass a boot password, I always leave all these to off anyways. So none of my jails, or if I haven't done much testing with the VMs, but I always by default leave them off, uh, so I don't have to go through and restart them. Because when you reboot my FreeNAS machines, I have passwords on them to unlock the volumes uh, as a security measure. Uh, so they're not only encrypted; they're encrypted plus password. I've talked about this before, but this helps uh, for security. I'm never worried if I have to take a drive out. I know all the data is encrypted and requires a password or somewhere where to try to physically take my uh, free NAS machine, they would not be able to boot it up either. Back to the features. So there's a lot of other ones. I don't think any of them really looked uh, dramatic. Display DHCP prefix for DHCP IO cables in a jail. Um, nothing really major here. There is add... Add support for nested ZFS data sets uh, via shadow copy uh, model and improve jail shell icons in new UI. Uh, but overall, like I said, I loaded this a couple days ago. Let me see what the uptime is right now on here. Uh, two days because I restarted again the other day making another adjustment. It restarts fine. The jail start fine. Uh, none of those issues, like I said before. So kind of insignificant in terms of release, in terms of his, you didn't get a pile of new features, but they did put more fit and polish on the system. And the bug list is huge. Just all the little things. Like I said, it's not like there were major flaws in there, but there were problems, as I mentioned before, on little quirky things that you had to deal with that, well, they can be annoying, uh, even if there's workarounds for them. So it's still stable. Um, granted, it's only been a couple of days, so you may want to wait longer to see if I've have any more issues and I will report them or tweet about them if I did. But overall, FreeNAS with the new system, despite some UI uh, little things, has been, even since it was in beta, very production ready, stable in terms of the back end of it uh, for running. I'm, so far, this particular machine, I have not ever bothered setting up iSCSI. I've been just using it for uh, NFS shares uh, for the VMs. And let me see how much data I have in my pool right now. So quite a bit available, um, only about a eh, about a terabyte used on this uh, here. So not not an absolute ton of data on here, but not you know not insignificant. It's, uh, it's where I store all my videos. Uh, we have a handful of random things uh, for our stress relief folder that we created. 
and then all the VMs. I've got 282 gigs of VMs running actively on here, uh, including one of them that runs Windows, which we know is a lot of our demos that thrash this hard drive quite a bit uh, when we're doing things in Windows with uh, Zen server. This is the backend storage for our Zen server, uh, the Zen server pool. But overall, um, I'm welcome to see that these menus don't pause. It seems a little bit snappier. That could be just me. Maybe it's just because I rebooted it. It does feel a little bit faster. That's not subjective at all. That's just me playing with it. Uh, but all my menus are back on boot. And that made me happy because this was a mystery that only this particular machine, my other two demo machines that I have in my other lab area, never have this problem. Only this particular machine was having a problem displaying these. And I know it wasn't a common problem. I didn't see many people doing it. Uh, and because I didn't have an error, I didn't have anything to go off of, but it seems to have gone away. Um, even after I rebooted it, every time the uh, menus on this page uh, come back and work perfectly fine. So good news is Freenas 11.2 U3, no issues, uh, no gotchas with the jail like we had last time. So I'm happy on uh, Plugging away at it, hoping to get some more videos rocked out on doing jails. And I want to do some playing with the virtual machines on it. It's been on my to-do list. I like the way they're uh, really adding to this and doing some uh, updates to the jail system that's on here. I'm uh, looking forward to seeing it because I, I think it has a great future. And I love the fact that, you know, it's all got built-in ZFS, one system, nice stack, all in the BSD world, which is you know, a pretty rock-solid uh, system to build things on. All right, thanks. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe to this channel to see more content, hit that subscribe button and the bell icon, and maybe YouTube will send you a notice when we post. If you want to hire us for a project that you've seen or discussed in this video, head over to lawrencesystems.com where we offer both uh, business IT services and consulting services and are excited to help you with whatever project you want to throw at us. Also, if you want to carry on the discussion further, head over to forums.lawrencesystems.com where we can keep the conversation going. And if you want to help the channel out in other ways, we offer affiliate links below, which offer discounts for you and a small cut for us that does help fund this channel. And once again, thanks again for watching this video and see you on next time.